Hi everyone, it's Suzanne and Craig and we're back again for Cocktail Adventures. And this is your double bonus. Uh, we, are re <laughs> Yay. we are revisiting our Maui vacation, our virtual vacation, Maui style. And we thought we'd like to bring you a pina colada. So Mr. History here and mixologist is going to make us an excellent pina colada. So I've spent a lot of time researching this, and like so many cocktails, there's a very disputed history. Ah. So it's hard to say. They do know that a pirate, Roberto Cafrese, sounds more Italian than Spanish, <laughs> it does. in Puerto Rico, he claims to have invented the pina colada. He died in 1825 and they lost the recipe, Okay. so no one knows. All right, so what do we have instead? Yes. Um, we're going to make this. So we know that in, in the 50s, Puerto Rican hotels, three competing hotels, we will mention names, uh, came up with variations of this. Really? And so in 1978, the Pina Colada became the national drink of Puerto Rico. Okay. And every July 10th is National Pina Colada Day. So Ooh. there you go. There you go. All right. So there's lots of different recipes. And mm -hmm. we're going to take a mixture of Coco Lopez, mm -hmm. which is the preeminent cocoa cream de cocoa and cream, cream to coconut, coconut, sorry. Yeah. And it, what's interesting, this is made from sun-ripened coconuts. This always comes out as the standard. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with... Two cups of ice. There you go. We're gonna add in the Coco Lopez, which has a, okay. a, a creamy consistency. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add in... And that was a half a cup? Correct, half do a cup. Do you need a spoon or are you good? No, I'm gonna just kind of wing it. Okay. There are options to Coco Lopez. Uh, you go to Total Wine or BevMo, mm -hmm. you can see the consistency is a little more liquid than yeah. the thickness you of Coco Lopez. Easy, but it does work. Okay. 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 So you got the ice, you got the Coco Lopez. Yes. You're going to put in three ounces of light rum. And there are variations, as I said. Bon Appetit magazine claims the best recipe ever. Okay. And what they did on top of the three ounces, this is for two cocktails, Great. they had one of dark. Ooh, so it kind of gives it a... Yeah, and I found a, a Hawaiian dark rum. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that we use for something else. So yes. I add that in. Okay. We're going to add in pineapple, fresh pineapple, which is going to give it a little thicker consistency. Right. Maybe about six or seven little chunks. Add that in. This is for our Maui style pina colada. Right. And, then, and... Oh, yes. And then... The pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Half a cup. I saw some variations with orange juice. Honestly, that sounds awful. Yes. And then, oh, should have been prepared. It's okay. Who taught us this trick? Uh, Martha Stewart to cut the end off the lime so then it it gets better juicing. Better in traction. The traction, yes, okay. in the juicer. So we'll do that. All right. And there you have all the ingredients. Right. So and through the magic of video. Watch this. Low-tech video. <laughs> this is made on the Vitamix. <laughs> we did, and we didn't think you wanted to hear the sound of the blender. And we know the dog doesn't. Nope. No, so. Oh, these look great. Yeah, well that's the idea, Suzanne. I know. So you talk about your Maui staycation on your blog. Yes. I think the first pina coladas I ever had were our honeymoon in Maui in 1984, that's which right. always stands out to me because why? Because I made him wear a coat, you know, like a blue blazer to get on the plane because I thought it was supposed to be special. And we were grown-ups and grown-ups were... And honeymoons like, are special. <laughs> wore blazers. But not when you wear a blazer <laughs> in the hot sun and then lose your luggage. I don't do that anymore. Mm. But these are our pina coladas. They are delicious. I hope you will... Pop on over to the blog, adventuresofemptynesters.com, and take a look at our virtual vacation Maui style. So, so many of us are not traveling right now, and we thought it would be fun if I gave you all the goodies that go with a Maui style vacation. Cheers. Cheers. Aloha.